to sit down and talk about it, but oh, okay. I've got different options. I, I wanted to do Provo and Tintview because the Provo um, television yeah. stations oh, are the, the iProvo ones? Yeah. Okay. They used to be doing them, and so they really would rather us not because they were doing them all. Oh, okay. So where are you but, guys broadcasting it? Well, we were doing it with Comcast, but Comcast okay. moved everything back east. Oh, okay. And, and I'm so, with Dish. Yeah, well, there you go. You got, is, can we have, is there a local channel we can catch it on? To record it or something? Right now, we're doing our best to get, we're doing it Orem Owls. Oh, okay. And, so we're, and we're doing our best to get them on the internet. Oh, okay. Because when we tried to get it on Comcast all the time, and that was fine until this year. Right. And so we don't really, we just, we're going to try to go to iProvo and say, and we've talked to them. Uh -huh. And they, last year they said, yeah, we can't do it anymore because we don't have the people. Oh. But if you give it to, if you guys want to do it and give it to us, we'll put it on. Oh, okay. So we're going to try to get it on iProvo, but if we didn't have to pay for it, because everything we do, it, we haven't made any money at doing right, it. Right, it's just a community service. Yeah, well, just more like a hobby for me. But, <laughs> but it would be a community service if I knew exactly how many people were watching. watching yeah. But um, if... Well, I, I used to, when I was on the iProvo network, I recorded all the games. I just kept them on my DVR and, you know, kids in my ward, you know, that play. And yeah. We'd well, see, for, that's what I was hoping that parents would want to see their kids play uh -huh. and, and buy VD, DVDs. DVDs uh -huh. But I'm, I'm such a... I'm not a businessman. I'm yeah. just a <laughs> sports fan who <laughs> likes to do it. Yeah. But if, if we could, I mean... I don't know how. Um, you need to be let out. You can you let yourself out over there. I know you. How are you? Good. How are you? I don't know this guy. I'm Stephen Willis. What does he do? Talk. Utah Valley Sports. You I, cop? Uh, yeah. I talk. No, I, I grew up in Pleasant Grove, went to school there, oh. high school, and my wife is Carol Sanderson. Oh, I'll be darned. <laughs> oh, I'll be darned. So, I don't, don't look the same. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Neither do I. Yeah, but you do. He recognized you. <laughs> but it, what I was going to say is um, with, with you, uh -huh. I don't know how you go, guys go about it. A lot of times I call them and they say, well, if you want to pay $2,000 for five minutes, then yeah, oh. we'll put you on. Well, you know, two hours. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I just welcome can't do to that. But Field here so on the high campus of TQ High going School. On. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thunderbird, we're, Thunderbird we're, we're football three, team. You know, this evening, we proudly present this Region 8 contest between the Thunderbirds and the visiting Thunder of Westlake High School. So, Richard, Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please stand. You can hear it. Gentlemen, please remove your hats as we honor this great nation and this community with the playing of our national anthem. Our nation's colors are escorted onto the field tonight by the award-winning Timpview Color Guard. Tonight we will be favored to hear from six, six members of our football team, Josh Burr, Marshall Nielsen, Ricky Shumway, Bobby Hagedorn, Ben Crowley, and Gordon Moi Moi as they sing our national anthem. Is it picking it up down there at all? Good. Cool. So what they have to say? Well, he said tonight it was fine, but he wanted to 
get with me and talk about the rest of the year doing it all every home game. Oh, okay. and as far well, I mentioned that, and that's why he wants to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I thought it'd be easier to do Provo and Tim View, but the schedule I actually have isn't that. But when I was talking to him, so we've got options. Yeah, we've got always got options. So uh, I got to figure out. Is there any extra chairs up here by chance? I know our coaches are taking these. Okay. Other than that, there might be some downstairs. We have over our okay. Yeah. In a hurry then. <sighs> how do you even get down there? There's a press box right under us, but how do you get to it? How do you even get down to the press box? Do you Sorry. know? Do you know how to get to the press box? Uh, as far as I'm aware, you go down right here, and there should be a door right there, and then you okay. go in there. Okay. I gotta hurry. Man, there's hornets all the way around here. I'm going to borrow these and I'll bring them back after the game. We're just upstairs doing the game for you. Thanks. I think two will be enough because the filmer probably needs to stand up. Maybe I'll take one more just in case. Some of these. Yeah, I'll just grab some. I need oh, three. <laughs> okay, I need three of them. Sure. I got a. Save my back. I just take one down here for my wife. This came off. Hope I didn't break it. Okay, can you still hear me or see me? All right. Welcome, sports fans, to Utah Valley Sports Network's presentation of high school football for 2011. Our initial game of the year, and we are being attacked by hornets galore up here. Yeah, hornets everywhere. We're not even playing the hornets. It's a t- we're at Tim View High School in Provo, Utah, and it's the Tim View Thunderbirds against the West Lake Thunder. So we got the Thunder and the Thunderbirds. If you look across from the stadium here at, at Tempview, straight across to the to West Mountain, and you're looking right at where the campus is for West Lake. So, sort of straight across. No, pretty. You don't have Tempview. I thought I did. TV. 
So, and Steven Willis, they're getting ready for the toss. First home game here for the T-Birds. Huh? What? It's not T. No, wait, this isn't the right one. Go to, go back to where the thing is. Now go back to, to that, and all it's gonna, all it's gonna, all it's gonna have is, wait a second, maybe not. Where did I put it? Is it on PG football? We use Chris. Ah. That one and wherever it is, but all they'll have is the this players, so you might have to put them all on one page because I can't read this very well. You might have to get it bigger. So the toss was won by Timview. They elected to kick off or to take the, the kickoff in the second half, so Westlake will receive, or actually Westlake will kick off, I'm sorry, Westlake will kick off, Tim D will receive this kickoff, and they will be going from north to south. Tim D is in the home orange jerseys, and Westlake is in the white with blue numerals. Getting ready to kick off for the Thunder is number 99. And he is not on my list. So back to receive this kickoff for the T-Birds coming up at about the eight yard line, straight up the middle. Cuts to the outside, he's got room if he can beat the one player. And he breaks three or four tackles and crosses the 35 all the way out to the 37 yard line for the opening kickoff. So nearly 30 yards on the return. And Timpy will start at the 38, the 30 yard return. And Timpy will start their home season with the ball on their own 38 yard line, first and 10. And here comes Chopper 5 to take a visit. There's the snap, handoff around the right side. He doesn't get anything. Everybody's stacked up and the whistles blow after uh, maybe a loss of one. So I'm gonna have to go bigger so I can see, because I can't read this. Well, at least the first, at least the quarterback, the, the young numbers, the, the first number, like the quarterback and stuff. Back in the shotgun, there's the Thunderbird swing out. There's the fumble, that's gonna be picked up and fell on by the Thunder. So the second play from scrimmage and a fumble recovered by Westlake. And they have the first break of the ball game down at the 34 yard line. Josh cannot be blocked, cannot be hooked by the receiver. Yeah. Josh, let it off by the receiver. Who got the fumble? 20. Add Addison Bates. Picked it up. Oh no, he forced the fumble. Addison. Adam, Addison Bates. Forced that fumble, and number 40, Jacob Zimmer, recovered it on the 33-yard line. The Westlake quarterback, number 14, handoff uh, right up the middle, and he's stacked up. Maybe gets one yard as he keeps fighting through that orange defense. <laughs> The Westlake quarterback 
is Cameron Jorgensen. Zimmer got that fumble and the first break of the game goes to Westlake. So as they break the huddle, Jorgensen up under center with the eye set back. Two, two backs in the backfield, a handoff to 28. And he goes around the left side for two yards and it's gonna be third and seven. The number 28 is Peter Krinkle. He brings it down to the 30. It's going to be third down and eight yards to go. Third and seven. Yeah, that'll be great. So Jorgensen back up under center in the eye. Two wide outs to the right. There's a quick slant. Down to the 22 close. That's going to be a first down for the Thunder. It's on the table. So the Thunder gets the first down on their initial drive of the game down to the 22. And Chopper 5 goes overhead. See how long they stay. They're getting drive, fly around us. Here comes the offense for the Thunder. Still in that same set with the I formation. There's the handoff. Once again to number 28, and that's Peter Kringle once again. Stopped at the 20. Second down and eight. Tim Fuse, Skyler Harmon on the tackle. No score here early in the first quarter with 8.39 to go in the first. To Crinkle on the right side and he is stacked up and dropped for a loss. Number 58 for Tintview on the tackle. And that is Gordon Mui Mui, the defensive lineman. listening to the thing. So, can you even see? You can start up. So that brings up third and 10. Jorgensen back to pass. He's got it man deep and he under throws him and it's intercepted at the 10 yard line. So the takeaway by the West Lake offense and then they or defense and then they give it right back on offense on the interception. It'll be first and ten for Timview on their own ten yard line. So Timview gets the pick and there's one turnover apiece and we're starting at the ten yard line first and ten deep in T-Bird territory in the shotgun. Three wide outs, men in motion. There's the pass, and he is going through the defense to try to get the to the ball. That was underthrown. And number 20 is not able to come up with that. That's Ricky Shumway. 